Welcome to our Scaffold DIA video tutorial. Part 1 of the tutorial will cover introductory material including downloading and installing Scaffold DIA and activating the program using an evaluation key. We will begin with downloading and installing the program. Scaffold DIA, like all of our products, is available for evaluation on our website. If you have not done so already, click on the link in the description to request an evaluation. The same page has a link to download the program. Click to begin downloading DIA. When the file download is complete, double click to begin the installer. We will now begin working our way through the installer. In most instances, simply accepting the default option for the installation directory is appropriate. This will override a previously installed version of Scaffold DIA. Please note you must accept a license agreement to install Scaffold DIA. DIA requires Proteo Wizard 11748 or higher to be installed for the processing of vendor formatted RAW files. If you do not have Proteo Wizard installed, Scaffold DIA will prompt you to download and install Proteo Wizard from our website. Note, this will download a separate installer. Work through the Proteo Wizard installer to completion before returning to the Scaffold DIA installer. Click Next to work your way through the Proteo Wizard installer. Select the option to install for all users of this machine. Optionally, you can remove the extra characters in the file path. Once Proteo Wizard is installed, return to the Scaffold DIA installer. Not pre-populated, point Scaffold DIA to the msconvert.exe using the file browser. This can be found in the Proteo Wizard folder on your computer's C drive. Enter the amount of RAM you would like to allocate to Scaffold DIA for processing. We recommend allocating roughly 80% of your system's total RAM. The program should launch automatically as long as the Run Scaffold DIA checkbox is filled in. You can now enter your license key. Proteum Software transitioned to a new key system for managing license keys for Scaffold DIA. The email you received from Proteum Software when you requested an evaluation should contain both a license ID and an activation password. Copy and paste these into their respective fields. To confirm your key is working, check the dialog access from the Help About menu. Finally, before you start processing data for the first time, it is a good idea to confirm your RAM and processor setting in the Edit Preferences menu. The blue question mark buttons distributed throughout the program will take you to a queryable version of the Scaffold DIA User's Guide. Click on the magnifying glass icon to search. The Help drop-down menu contains links to the Scaffold User's Guide and our online Help Center. 